Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel, where I share my knowledge and experience troubleshooting boiler issues. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you find these videos helpful. Today, I'm discussing common reasons the boiler doesn't start. You walk onto a no heat call. Inside the boiler room, you see a lone boiler. What do you check first? Is the boiler satisfied? The first item I check is the boiler pressure gauge on the steam boiler or the tridicator gauge on the hydronic boiler. If there is steam pressure on the gauge, the boiler might be satisfied not calling. Steam heating systems for space heating operate around 2 psi. If the boiler is hydronic, I look to see if the water inside the boiler is warm by looking at the tridicator or PTA gauge. I realize you could also just feel the pipes but I've been burned more than once when I grabbed a hot pipe. If there is no steam pressure or the hydronic boiler is cool, I check the manual reset controls on the boiler. These manual reset controls include pressure, temperature, auxiliary low water cutoff, gas pressure switches, emergency door switches, and flame safeguards. I note the set point if the manual reset limit control is tripped. If it's a low pressure steam boiler for space heating, I like setting the limit control at 10 psi and the operating pressure control at 2 to 3 psi. On a steam boiler for a brewery, I like setting the operating control to 12 to 13 psi and the manual reset control for 15 psi. Hydronic boilers are typically set for 180 degrees on the operating control and 200 to 210 degrees Fahrenheit for the manual reset control. If the boiler starts when pushing the reset button on the limit control, check to see if the operating control is set too close to the limit control set point. Next, I check the auxiliary low water cutoff. If the steam boiler starts after pushing this button, it's usually caused by bouncing water in the boiler because of dirty water or high TTS, high solids. Fast opening zone valves can also mimic the same symptoms. If it's tripped on the hydronic boiler, this could indicate a substantial leak. Check the pressure on the tridicator to be sure there is enough water pressure for the building. You need one pound of pressure to raise water 2.3 feet. If it's a two-story building, the pressure should typically be around 12 PSI. It's rare that the low water cutoffs fail, but it happens. If the boiler room has emergency door switches, check to verify they are not pushed or switched off. This is a common cause for boilers not running. The buttons get bumped on the way out the door. Is there power to the boiler? Check the breaker and see if it's tripped. If it is, you should investigate the cause. Large commercial boilers have two gas pressure switches on the gas train. The low gas pressure switch is usually just downstream of the gas pressure regulator. If the boiler starts after pushing this reset button, it indicates the gas pressure is too low. In most instances, this is caused by a manual gas valve closed upstream of the pressure switch. The low gas pressure switch is typically set for one half of the burner's rated gas pressure. You should see this rating on the burner tag. The high gas pressure switch is located closer to the burner. This trips if the gas pressure is too high. This could be caused by a gas pressure regulator being misadjusted. The high gas pressure switch is typically set for one and a half times the burner rated gas pressure. Press the reset button only once if the boiler is off because of the flame safeguard. If it trips the flame safeguard again, the cause should be investigated and the burner should not be tried until the cause is identified. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website it shows some of our capabilities. I have authored 12 books on boilers which are available on Amazon. 
My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.